I'm here be training outside today using some suspension equipment and also some resistance bands because I love the great outdoors but such is England and such is other parts of the world that it rains from time to time or it can be too cold to effectively train outside I mean it's really difficult to do pull-ups in the wet and it isn't even safe to train in some conditions so with that said in the UK restrictions have lifted so that some gyms leisure centers will be opening soon and that means many of us who haven't had um, any equipment at home access to training or classes are gonna attempt to go back whether it's to shift pounds whether to you know have a bit of a, a social fitness because socialism socializing is part of fitness as well doing classes connecting with people friends etc seeing the trainers that you like and you enjoy their classes um so whatever the motivation people are going to go back to the gym i've just written a blog which will be published tomorrow on asics front runner and it's, it's got five tips on how to make that a smooth transition back to the gym see it's really really important um given this social distancing situation that we research tip one research what is happening in our preferred gym um things are very unlikely to be how they were before so research i really can't emphasize enough research um some gyms the changing rooms are going to be closed okay the showers are not going to be available um you, there may not be any bag storage so hey i would say go ready go work out ready with what you want to train in okay um also pace yourself when you go back don't go a hundred percent um it's very likely that your level of activity has been reduced during these quarantine months um so you don't want to put unnecessary exertion on your heart and also on your body so the key thing is is to pace yourself also you may not be as strong as you know when you when you when you stopped so be realistic with your goals drop down some pounds drop down you know heart rate level zones and try to enjoy it and pace yourself be patient if you're consistent those um goals those things will happen but the key thing is to pace yourself with your training all right also when you're in the gym it's gonna be very likely there's gonna be time limits so leave your phone leave your phone at home or, or just leave your phone altogether close it lock it put it in a flip belt or whatever because the time you're in the gym is gonna have to be work time okay you may be limited to pieces of equipment or limited to overall workout all right so be conscious of using your time effectively and also you may have to be patient waiting for equipment to become available so do those do those reps do those sets and make sure they're done in correct form but make sure they're done as effectively and efficiently as possible so short times no sitting there waiting for five ten minutes chilling and then going again no let's 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 be let's be disciplined in terms of our effort um hydration okay some gyms have moved equipment outside which means no air conditioning it means it's going to be hotter so dress accordingly and also make sure you hydrate so you may want to have isotonic drink or add some salts to your water take your water because you don't know whether water is going to be available and also quite unlikely that you're going to want to refill or drink from the fountain um recovery recovery is really really important because if you're pushing hard um get the most out of your workout or even just coming back to working out it is going to affect your body and there's going to be a degree of soreness and it's important that you recover so recovery magnesium recovery rest rest means rest recovery sleep protein within an hour of working out whether that is through food
food or through supplementation, get some good quality protein in within that hour window, if at all possible. And also, what you can add to your recovery routine is foam rollers, which vibrate, it's cool. Alternatively, you can use those deep tissue massages, which are like muscle gun, etc. And they're good at kind of helping your muscles recover blood flow etc giving that deep massage and also you know sports massages are not really available right now so hey that's an alternative all right i hope these tips have helped you in terms of making your way back to the gym um all i can say is be safe make a plan and pace yourself okay the rewards and results will come work but don't overload your body too much and work too hard because the last thing you want the last thing anyone wants but the last thing you want at a time like this to go back to exercise after such a break injure yourself and then be out for weeks or months so it's it's really important that you pace yourself okay so wishing you all the best with your return to the gym.